Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry that I was interrupted. Um, I'm not going to start this video over. However, I will give you a recap. I'm going to post the first part and I'm going to give you a recap and continue. This is a Scorpio reading. This is for someone that's on a twin flame journey. This is for someone who just met their twin flame. This is for someone, and you definitely know that you are on a twin flame journey. Let me say to you before we get started, a twin flame journey is not an easy journey. You will have a lot of ups and downs. Some people think that, oh my God, I met my twin flame. I'm the luckiest person in the world. However, the twin flame journey is not easy at all. Some people may choose to not go down that road and they may decide to choose a soulmate because in life, you can have a million different soulmates thousands, hundreds. Your mother could be your soulmate, your father, your sister, your brother, your niece, your nephew, your significant other can be a soulmate. However, in life, you only get one twin flame. Some people never meet their twin flame in this lifetime. However, some people do get to meet his or her twin flame. It's not an easy journey. In a twin flame journey, there will be a lot of pushing, a lot of pulling. There will be a lot of you wanting your person and they are resisting you and trying to stay away from you. And then there become a time where their roles will be reversed. And guess what? They will be wanting you and you will be resisting them. Then there's a point in this journey where the two of you will come together. The twin flame journey is not hard to recognize. However, some people mistaken a person to be their twin flame for a karmic. Because a karmic relationship can be passionate It can be so hot and heavy and you can be so drawn to a person and then they cause you so much strife. That's a karmic. And guess what? That karmic could be verbally abusive, physically abusive, emotionally abusive, mentally abusive. That's not a twin flame. That's a karmic. A twin flame is someone that has gone through similar life experiences. A twin flame is you. They're the other half of you. The two of you lived the same life, but in opposite bodies. 
your twin flame mirrors you because they are you. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. A twin flame is the opposite of who you are. And if you decide to go down that road and you decide that, hey, I want to take this journey with my person because I know that he or she is my twin flame and your person feels the same way, it's not going to be easy. However, no relationship is. But the two of you will recognize each other instantly. One of you may say, hey, I do want my twin flame. The other one may say, not right now, because they may not be ready for you. But guess what? If there is a cool-off point, and the separation period happens, you will come back with your twin flame. This reading is for a person who knows that they are with their twin flame. However, on the flip side of that, this is for a person who is about to meet his or her twin flame because don't forget, Someone, whether it be you or whether it's the cross watcher, someone is manifesting miracles just like you. Someone is asking to be with his or her twin flame. You feel it, they feel it. And if you're not already together with your twin flame, they're coming in. And I know you're probably saying, oh my God, these tarot readers are always saying that I'm about to meet someone new. I'm not like other tarot readers. However, I'm going to tell you that someone is manifesting his or her twin flame and you are manifesting to be with your twin flame. And so, the reason why you're manifesting the same thing at the same time is because this person is the other half of you. This is the other part of your soul. This is you. You feel your person coming in. That's why you're reading about how to manifest. You're researching how to manifest. You're reciting affirmations. You're learning about affirmations. And you're wondering, what affirmation should I say? What is the best one? No such thing as what's the best one. You do it from your heart. You ask the universe, you ask your spirit guides, you ask your guardian angels to send you your twin flame. For those of you Scorpios who are already with someone and you're married, you're about to get engaged, you're in a long-term commitment, you're already with your twin flame. And for those of you who are with someone and that person is verbally abusive, physically abusive, mentally abusive, emotionally abusive, that's a karmic. And it's time to boot that person to the curb so that your twin flame can come on in. Manifesting miracles 
Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Trust your heart, Scorpio, and follow its guidance. For those of you who are in a relationship with a person and you know they are your twin flame and they're not a karmic, your relationship deserves playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. It's time for the two of you to have some fun. It's time for you to laugh together. It's time for the two of you to go out on a date, whether it be out to dinner, a walk in the park, just some alone time, an amusement park. It doesn't matter what your age is. The two of you need to spend some time together to have fun. This is, once again, a twin flame journey. Your passion ignites. Your passion ignites. This is not for a person that's in separation with his or her twin flame. This is for someone who knows that they are with their twin flame and the two of you are ready to do the work. This is for someone who's calling in his or her twin flame and they're on their way because they too are calling you in. And Scorpio, I know I'm being repetitive. If you're with someone and they are verbally abusive to you, if they are controlling to you, and if you have a child and they are doing this to your child, it's time for you to get away. If they're physically abusive, if they're mentally abusive, if they're emotionally abusive, it's time for you to get away safely. And I will be doing another reading for you in a few days, Scorpio. For those of you who are dealing with a karmic. But I'm specifically speaking to the Scorpios who knows that they are on a twin flame journey. I'm specifically speaking to the Scorpios who have been manifesting miracles to be with his or her twin flame. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will, magic will magically transform. There is such thing as constructive criticism. But there's also such thing as criticizing someone and being petty. It's a difference. Constructive criticism is because you're trying to help that person. And criticism, when you're just being petty, you know you're just being downright sarcastic, rude, nasty. And Scorpios, if you're watching my channel, we don't do that over here. So if we don't do that over here, you shouldn't do that over there. And if someone is doing that to you, then guess what? You don't deserve it. And if you're doing that to someone, they don't deserve it.
when you see this picture, what do you see? Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. If someone needs space, you have to give that person that space because love doesn't claim. It simply allows and it gives. At the bottom of the deck, what do you see? Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Sometimes people rush into things. And when they rush into things, they forget to set. They forget to build that foundation. Some people jump into things without knowing his or her partner because they just want a man or they just want a woman and they forget the important steps of creating a friendship first because you may not even like the person that you're with. You may not even get along with that person. And the reason why you didn't find that out is because you rushed. 